is to Huntington now. Uh, or school administrators concerned about truancy say they are cracking down on students who are falling behind in their virtual classes. For example, teachers say one elementary student has failed to turn in 45 assignments since school began. Fort Wayne's NBC reporter Corinne Rose has that story. Huntington Schools Director of Curriculum is concerned that 150 of the district's 816 students who are not in classrooms but learning remotely are falling behind. Based on uh, their attendance based upon their engagement that we have not seen, we feel it's in their best educational interest to come back on campus. All right, give me a thumbs up when you've got an answer. All right, I see one, I see two. Becky Hacker is one of Huntington's fourth grade virtual teachers. She says remote learning works well for kids who are independent learners who have consistent support from parents checking their lessons and homework. But she says virtual instruction can be difficult for students and teachers. The big difference is that they're not there in your midst and just that interaction, that simple walking around and seeing what they're able to you know, do on their own, what they're able to do independently. Um, it's hard to see that. It's hard to see their processing. She can tell when students aren't grasping a concept as quickly as others, but says because she has to teach more than 20 students on her screen at a time, it can be difficult to carve out one-on-one -on -one time with them. It's very frustrating when you see that happening. Um, and it's just, you know, there's not, not a ton I can do other than contact, contact, contact parents. Uh, that face-to-face, -face, I think, is just so important for kids. Jay Peters says it's critical for students to learn benchmark standards and skills by certain points. Otherwise, they'll need remedial instruction in order to catch up. We've lost nine weeks of school that I'm not sure how we're going to be able to recover that, uh, not only from an elementary standpoint, but from a middle school, high school standpoint, that they're nine weeks behind. So having already contacted parents electronically, school principals will now hand deliver letters to the homes of 150 virtual students who are falling far behind, asking them to return to the classroom. Our hope is that they'll, they'll rethink um, that virtual option and want to come back on campus. Parents receiving the letters are being asked to let administrators know by October 19th whether they will return their students to schools November 2nd. If they don't, they'll be asked to make other schooling arrangements for their children. Corinne Rose, Fort Wayne's NBC.